Hey, what's up guys? Blanche here again with another one of my tech videos. In this week's episode, I'm gonna show you how to set the shift lights up on the Microtech Pro Dash. And while I'm at it, I'll also show you how to connect up an external shift light to the dash as well. Now, the dash itself has 10 LED lights across the top here. And those lights will flash when you hit your shift RPM, like so. But, there's still a lot of guys that prefer to use an external shift light, such as this old school Autometer one. They like to mount these up high on the roll cage, where it's in their field of view, um, so they can keep their eyes on the track and don't have to keep looking down during a run. So, to solve that problem, Microtech has added an output to the dash, and that output will trigger when the shift lights are activated. These shift lights have only got two wires, so they're super easy to wire up. One wire goes to a 12 volt ignition source. I've got mine uh, wired up to my terminal strip here. And the other wire goes into the back of the dash and the Microtech grounds that wire when the shift RPM is reached. Check the Microtech diagram. It shows you which wire needs to be connected up. One thing I probably should mention is the dash limb itself doesn't come with any wire in that position when it comes from Microtech. So you will need to get some wire, um, some Molex pins and insert that wire yourself. But aside from that, it's all very straightforward and easy. I've already gone ahead and connected this one up and checked to make sure it's all working. So the next step, uh, I'll show you how to set the shift RPM in the dash software. Okay, now once we're connected to our dash with the laptop, first screen we get to is the setup screen for the dash display. If we arrow across to the right for clicks, this is where we set the shift light RPM up. As you can see here, it's highlighted what function we're adjusting. Um, currently the shift light set to foreground. I'll go ahead and I'll move that up to 7,000. Now, if I bring the RPM on the dash up to seven grand, see the shift lights come on here and it'll also light up our external shift light as well. One other thing I probably should mention while I'm here, there is another function you can set up all of these LEDs across the top, as I guess you would call it a, a pre-shift light warning. So you can gradually bring these LEDs in as you're getting closer to your actual shift point. So for example, if we've got our shift light set to seven grand, you'll probably start bringing this one at 6250, six and a half, 6750, and then this one, the last one just before seven grand. So it gradually has a line coming across to warn you that you are getting close to your shift point. I'll go ahead and I'll set those up so we can see how that's done. I'll begin at uh, 6,000 with this one. I'll go 62.50 with the second one. Six thousand five hundred here, and as you can see, as we're adjusting each one, those particular lights are highlighted on the dash software, which is a really cool feature and does make it very, very easy to um, to set things up. Uh, you know exactly which lights you're adjusting, and it makes it pretty um, pretty hard to stuff up. All right, six thousand sixty-two fifty, sixty-five hundred, sixty-seven fifty. And then the main shift light will come on at seven. If I bring the RPM up once again, six grand, the first lot come on, 62.50, the next ones, six and a half, the next ones, 67.50, the last ones. And then when we get to seven, it'll flash and the buzzer will go off and it will bring the external light and it's as simple as that. Like all the Microtech stuff, it is very simple and easy and straightforward to understand. But um, 
that's it. That's all involved. Uh, all that's involved in setting your shift lights up. Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you're all getting some value out of these videos and you're starting to get the hang of using the software in these dashes. If you do have any questions, just drop them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them for you. If there's something in particular that you'd like me to cover in one of my future tech videos, let me know in the comments as well and I'll see what I can do. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.